The last time he was here, Zinke was a Navy SEAL commander, and he made reference to Guam in often used military speak as the tip of the spear. Guam's a hub, uh, not only militarily, but Guam needs to be a hub economically too. Uh, if Guam prospers, the Pacific prospers. Governor Calvo seized on the chance to seek Zinke's support on a variety of pressing issues. Whether it's tax policy, uh, whether it's uh, the territories uh, and the equations that are used for uh, uh, Medicaid matching uh, and other areas. So uh, it was a very fruitful discussion. I kind of threw a lot to the secretary. Calvo has been critical of USCIS for a slowdown in foreign skilled labor visa approvals for private sector projects, which is in stark contrast to the multi-billion dollar military construction for the U.S. Marine relocation. The one size doesn't fit all. And I think you have to look at it uh, in, in a specific area and in, in a nation and territory. So Guam has unique requirements, and I'm in support of those other requirements as articulated by the governor. Absolutely. Zinke left without any specific promises, but Calvo was happy to at least have his ear. We look forward to allies such as uh, Secretary Zinke uh, in giving Guam uh, the flexibility and more autonomy, at the same time take out some of the shackles that we have in some of these onerous uh, treaties and laws and regulations as well. Reporting from Guam, I'm Nestor Leconto.